previously on the Mike Knox Show. Right now, the week in wrestling. Y'all know where it started off at. Where they have to start off at. It has to start off on Monday Night Raw because that's the week in wrestling. But we're going to go through a little bit quick. You know, Cody comes out, got to come out. They're talking all their nonsense that they have been talking for a while. And, you know, they, 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 him and Cody come in the ring. I mean, Seth and Cody come in the ring. We need Evan as a guest someday. Eh, we'll get him on. If, you, if, if, if the people want it, the people shall get it. How about that, Jeffrey? Okay, you want me and Evan Mack on the same screen together? I mean, I don't know if our egos can take it, okay? But I do a show with DJ and the executive consultant, so we're good, okay? What's up, baby? Looking good in that yellow, girl. And speaking of yellow, we got the big highlighter, Seth freaking Rollins in the ring, and they're talking about rock and give him a new nickname, Diarrhea Rock. I mean, I know we shouldn't say certain things in today's world. I know we are past the attitude era, which was not better than a ruthless aggression era. Yeah, Mike Knox said it at Mike Knox. That's three X's. Don't forget why I am hardcore. Um, but also, <sighs> diarrhea, that's the best thing you could have came up with. I mean, The Rock talks, Orton talks, when Brock Lesnar comes back, they're going to say shit, ass, earmuffs. You say all those kind of things. As long as you say earmuffs, you can say what you want. But no, you come up with diarrhea? Like, come on. Then they shake hands and agree that I got your back, Cody. I got your back. Let's start the show off right. Death to dirt sheets and you, Dave Meltzer. Mike Smith is on a VO artist. That's voiceover artist, people, by the way. Right? Um, the Attitude Era was the best. No, world, it wasn't. Just because you saw The Rock and you like Steve Blackman and Lita, I get it. But there was an era that came after that that had all those same people minus uh, Steve Blackman, baby. Trust me. Okay. Dr. D, uh, DC the Collector checking in. Good afternoon, Mike Knox. The fit Seth had on was fired with the belt around the waist. Listen, not my color. How about that? Okay. He's like a goddamn highlighter. I guarantee you at nighttime, he can go jogging, popcorn, sailing, uh, rowing, and he'll never get lost. Okay. But he agrees. I got your back, Cody. Let's go to SmackDown. And we're making fun of The Rock for having a, a long ass promo and people complaining because people's segments got cut. But damn, they, they spoke for 25 minutes and didn't say shit. Oh, can I say shit? Because, you know, he, I'm saying diarrhea. But right here, SmackDown, we are back. The man that puts the food on the table and the man that can take it off the table, people. Your tribal chief, Roman Reigns, is coming to the ring. The bloodline, the crowd is hype. They were just being massively booed a week ago. And now they're getting massively cheered a week later. Um, but then, y'all, the great one graced us with his presence. Did y'all see the entrance? Did y'all see the intro from The Rock? Did y'all see it? It was electrifying. It was the most electrifying entrance I've seen in wrestling in quite some time. The Rock gave you all what you needed to see. That he was back. And yes, damn it, he wore the belt buckle. So here's my problem, y'all. I know I promised that I'd probably wear a belt buckle at WrestleMania. But it's going to be cold in Philly. Some friends of mine, I'm not going to say their names, they're actually backing out because it's going to be cold. Would you go see a football game in the cold? Would, would you go try to get some, some punani in the cold? I mean, nothing a coat couldn't handle, you know, jacket, all that above stuff. But the rock comes out being all rocky. Look at the crowd going all crazy because that's what they do for the great one. The most electrifying man in all of entertainment who can take long if he wants to. So what? Oh, look, y'all see the camera crew turn the rock to wrap it up? Y'all think the rock cares about wrapping it up? Well, yeah, he should, right? But you don't, you think he actually cares about hurrying up off the show? It's his show. He is your boss, okay? <laughs> he keeps telling all y'all that, right? But acknowledge us. I like that. Roman said that to me. So he said, acknowledge me. He said, acknowledge us. Damn. Jimmy and Jay must feel like shit, right? Because they've been trying to say that. that, that wasn't that their whole thing's like acknowledge us all? You know, Roman? It take, it take, it take, it take the, the Wayne to come for you. Finally have some respect for the rest of us around here. That's crazy. Then Cody Rose comes out. They're coming through the crowd. Do y'all not understand the seeds that are planted right here in this motherfucking picture, y'all? Follow the facts. That's F 
A-X-X-X. Like going around the blocks. X-X-X with Mike Knox. X-X-X. Should W switch rock to Hollywood rock theme? I wish they would. I had such a great, it, um, I, it had such a great entrance. Leave it how it is. Leave it how it is. Taker gave the rock the electrifying lightning. <laughs> Listen, right here, y'all, is how you know who's going to win. I'm sorry, Cody Crybabies. Your boy is losing at WrestleMania. <laughs> he is losing at WrestleMania. Electrify, uh, uh, entrance was fire, but definitely killed off last year. Yeah, 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 that's some, they did. They just told Bobby he couldn't do that shit no more. Um, but oh, look at this. He coming through the crowd like the shield came through the crowd. I'm going to be a shield around you, Cody. This ain't mine. This is Nietzsche's. And y'all know me. If I come up with it, I tell you, that shit was mine. Cody Rose fan, day two. Shout out to the Fire Nights podcast, my main Phil, and the Bulls booming him, holding it down over there. This is Phil. He was, a, he was a Cody Rose day one guy. I was about six months later, so I'll say day two. But as I'm going to my doctor's appointment, um, they could um, upstage the rock. So going through the crowd made sense. Hey. Tomato, tomato. So are you going to say Seth is turning? What the fuck else you think I'm saying, Jason Michael Campbell? That's exactly what the fuck Mike Knox is saying. Write it down. Take a picture. If I'm wrong, especially someone like you, Jason, you share a lot of dirt cheap shit. So you can share this from Mike Knox. Yes, Seth is turning on Cody. It's written all over your face. Hey, you don't have to say a word. You don't have to say a word. You don't have to say a word. Listen, Seth Rollins. First of all, let's get to the ring. Rock is talking. Rock is talking. Rock is talking. Seth, shut up. I'm tired of your shit, man. I'm tired of it. We accept. Did y'all not see Cody's face? Go back and watch it. I watched it multiple times from different angles. Pause. Okay, shout out to YouTubers who were there, right? Cody, and I saw it on TV. Cody's face was like, what the fuck are you talking about, right? And then Roman comes on and says, you gonna listen to this guy? This guy don't even dress like a man. You gonna, you gonna listen to him? Oh, no wonder you're stupid. <laughs> but since you're gonna be stupid, that's my favorite Roman line, right? <laughs> but he, you know, he called him an idiot this time, right? He says, if you lose, you don't get another shot. There is no more shots for you. You're done. Back to the back of the line. Cody's face still look. Seth had had his I am not a nugget moment. That 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 was. I was definitely thinking that same thing. I am not a nugget. Yeah, you, you are, Seth. You are. When it comes to the rock, <laughs> you're you're less than a nugget. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, even if you're gonna play in Captain America, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um did you see Cody's face? Right? All the sun. What did I say? That made me fun damn glasses on the day. Uh, I said that before as well. He's mad because he didn't choose. Yes, he did not choose him. Seth wouldn't um uh, should have been me, but rock drop. Yes, ass night one. It's set up perfectly. And see, great wrestling minds think alike. Thanks for listening to and being a part of the show for the intelligent wrestling fan. Okay, because these like consultants drive me to my doctor's appointment. Um, my car is down, so, you know, y'all y'all do all that stuff for people y'all don't know. Y'all know me. I've been around for a long time. Please donate. Brother, need any, but I need some car problem, problems fixed around here, people. Okay? Y'all can Patreon me. Y'all can cash at me. <laughs> so, anyway, if that consultant had to drive an hour to come pick me up because he's a great friend. And he's, we're talking in the car because we do a lot when we're talking wrestling or, or talk wrestling a lot in the car. And lo and behold, I'm like, damn, that makes sense. And now, now, the DC, the collector, it's, 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 listen, it's going to happen. Cody's going to turn on Seth. And then The Rock does what you should not ever tell somebody unless you hate him. Okay? <laughs> Isn't it true? You're the youngest by 20 years. You know why? Because you was a mistake. Oh, slap across the face. What the five fingers say to the hand? Slap or some shit. Seth is also obsessed with breaking Roman Street. Yes, that too. 
But bam, T-shirts are made. Roman's in the back laughing because he caught him. He said, you are a mistake. And then, holy moly, Cody crybabies. Redemption. Redemption was set for you right there. Slapped in the face. Eh, the show goes off that way. And the shocking part about the show going off that way, everybody was mad the show went off that way. Everybody I know had to rush WWE. Dot com, Twitter, <laughs> something. It was nothing. Nothing actually happened after that segment. So if you did not go look and search for it, you should have known by now because your dirt sheets would have been right about that part, right? Because that's not a dirt sheet. That's actually reporting actual factual shit, okay? Um, nothing happened. Went off that way. See you maybe tonight, maybe on Monday. But your thoughts on that because Roman, night one, because I saw that's why I don't think your theory dice when you had your um two words or two sweets. I don't think that um when you say the bloodline's not there to help, I, I think Seth is the one. I think it's a little obvious for wrestling fans to jump to that conclusion, which rightfully show of him being there, him being signed, that whole kind of thing. It makes sense. And that still could still happen, in all fairness, even with Seth, right? Because he could Seth can interfere, he kicks out, right? Not enough. Roman's mad. Damn it. Then comes out little cuz and it helps him finish the job off, right? Because no bloodline members are allowed, right? So, but comment below. Let me know what you guys think about that. A little bit of time left in the show. I'm going to get to your comments really thick and heavy momentarily. But this one is just a pet peeve I want to talk about. Um, because Logan Paul, your real mega star. Yeah! Not LA Knight. Yeah! I just said not LA Knight. Yeah! I said not. Yeah. Logan Paul's a real mega star. He knows. Yeah. He told. You.